Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thank you for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Look at what we got here. This is North Coast Brewing. They're out of Fort Brown, California. This is their Old Rasputin Imperial Stout. Guys, I've done this when I first started doing beer reviews about six years ago. Uh, and I have had several different versions of their bourbon barrel age versions and stuff since then. Uh, this is an excellent beer, guys. Uh, I do pick this up occasionally to uh, supplement my Imperial Stout uh, go-to beers. And I thought, it's been a long time since I reviewed this beer. Uh, this is a very tasty beer. It's an excellent beer to be an Imperial Stout. Not overly priced. Very reasonable. Four of them for about ten bucks. Uh, and it's a nine percenter. Uh, the rate beer has this at 75 IBUs. thought I'd re-review it. I picked up a four pack of these uh, uh, about a week ago and I've had several of them. Uh, this is the last one out of that four pack to be honest with you and I said I'm going to re-review this. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done this. Like I said the bourbon barrel aged version of this stuff is out freaking standing. And when I first did this six years ago it probably blew my palate out of my mouth. Probably blew my hair back and my socks off and all that stuff because it is a very well done beer from North Coast Brewing. Uh, I want to review it, uh, so that's what we're going to do. This is a 2017 edition of the uh, Old Rasputin. So let's see what it brings to the table. See if I'm just as impressed as I was back then. I know the bourbon barrel age versions, and they do several different versions of this. Uh, is outstanding. It's world class. It's off the chain. It's it's absolutely it's absolutely an A plus beer. But this uh, a little more reasonably priced. Uh, so. Let's see if I think it's just as tasty as it was six years ago. My palate has changed considerably since then. So, uh, let's see. Let's, we shall see. We shall see. Commercial description on this guy says, Producing tradition of 18th century English brewers who supplied the court of Russians Catherine the Great. Old Rasputin seems to develop a cult following wherever it goes. It's a rich, intense brew with a big complex flavor and a warming finish. We got the grass the grass cutters out there doing their thing today. It's almost dark, so they don't they only come out they're vampires. They only come out if the sun goes down. The old Rasputin brand image is a drawing of Rasputin with a phase of Russian encircling it. A sim a sincere friend is not born instantly. So <sighs> got to deal with it, guys. Got to deal with it. All right. Uh, nothing else we need to talk about there. We've got the ABV. We've got the IBU. We've got the commercial description. So let's get the cap popped on top of this thing. I'm going to have to close the door, looks like. Come on, fool. Put the damn lawnmower up. Zipper head. All right, into the glass we go. Let's go down the center on this one. Says the same goes well with your chocolate dishes, dessert, digestion. You could have this with a very strong dish, guys. Look at the head of this thing's pouring. Oh, look at that head. Yeah, that's what she said. All right, glassware, pint, Becker knife, tumbler, snifter. I got my favorite snifter. A good two fingers, a very off-white khaki-colored head on that aggressive pour. And it says here it can be solid for a long period of time. I can't think of a single reason why you could not. You could grab a four pack of this, have one now, have one two, three, five years, have one ten years down the road, have one fifteen, have one twenty. 
I mean, this beer is going to keep for a long, long time. Now, it's just nine percent. It will keep for a long time. And it's pitch black. There is no light coming through this beer. Very traditional stout color. Let's get a nose on it. Rich roasted malt. Heavy roasted malt. Caramel, toffee, brown sugar, hints of licorice, maybe some dark fruit in there. It's cold right out of the fridge. I'm sure those flavors will come out and as it warms up. A very nice beer and reasonable price like I said earlier. They're not gouging you. They're not going to charge you $20 for four of these. Thank you. <laughs> very nice beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. Very tasty, guys. Alcohol is super well hidden. Big time roasted malt. Caramel toppy licorice. I'm getting some plums, some dates, raisins. Maybe a slight hint of some tobacco in there. This would go good with a nice Maduro wrapped cigar. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I, I love that these guys aren't gouging you for this beer. A lot of the breweries over time here have developed a beer and then they realize, oh, this is a good beer. Let's keep jacking the price up. And then before you know it, they're dipping in wax and putting them in a box and a bunch of stuff to jack the price up. So these guys have not. And I respect them for that. Awesome smelling beer. A great beer for the final beer of the evening, which it is for me. Getting ready to have some dinner. Oh, it's delicious. That is delicious. Guys, if you're into the Russian Imperial Stouts, and you can get this beer in your area. This is a great one to pick up and, and reasonably be priced, like I said, uh, where they're not gouging you for dipping it in wags or, oh my God, this is limited release and we got to jack the price up or we're going to put it in a box and then jack the price up. So, very reasonably priced beer, a very nice beer for a Russian Imperial Stout. Bug uh, very well. So, let me sip on this for a little bit and let her taste it. It's been a while since she's had a little bit of this, and we'll come back and do the final job. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sitting on for a while now. Excellent beer, most tasty beer for something that's not bourbon barrel aged. This is awesome, and reasonably priced. Like I said earlier, they're not gouging you for a four pack of this. I mean, ten dollar range. Uh, very nice, very well done. Alcohol is super well hidden for a nine percent. Russian Imperial South, absolutely freaking delicious, guys. Awesome, awesome. That is absolutely delicious, guys. I am more impressed now than I was six years ago. Now, they're telling us, uh, right here on the label, it says packaged on 02-09-2017. So we got the month, day, and the year. We know when it was put in a bottle. This is a 2017 edition done on February the 9th. It says it's 9% here. We don't have the IBUs listed here on this, but it's easy to find. Uh, not that critical on this style of beer. Uh, what's most impressive to me is the price. A four pack of this is around 10 bucks. 9% Russian Imperial South. Very, very tasty, guys. Uh, I can't think of a single reason. The only thing I could say to make this beer better is to put it in a bourbon barrel, and they do that version of this. So for a plain Jane, 9% Russian Imperial Stout, it's awesome. It is freaking awesome. It's a 10 beer to me, guys. It is, uh, especially now that they're doing the package on date on it. It got the ABV on it. I would like to see the IBU, but it's not that critical. Uh, when I first told you it's uh, 75 IBUs, it's on untapped. I uh, would like to see it print on the bottle, but I'm not going to take a great point away from that because of the IBU not being on there, especially on this style of beer. Not that critical. Very well done. 
very, very well done. Bittersweet chocolate, roasted malt, caramel toffee, molasses, uh, hints of dark fruit, a little bit of licorice in there, hints of tobacco. Excellent beer. Went very well with the uh, Maduro wrap cigar that I was puffing on outside on the deck. Very tasty. Ten for me, A+. Plus. Excellent beer. Very well done. And uh, like I said, the biggest thing I can say about this beer, they're not gouging you. They're producing an excellent beer and they're not gouging you over it. Uh, a lot of breweries, uh, once they figure out, oh my god, we got a, we got a winner here, let's put some wax on it or put it in a box or, or do something to jack the price up on it. These guys have not done that. So, uh, two thumbs up. Ten, ten beer for me. It's definitely an A-plus beer. Over to Beer Advocate, we'll say they have 95, world class. Absolutely world class. Beer Advocate has it at 100 of all 98 in the style. That's what I'm talking about. 100. It is an excellent beer. A nice beer to pick up. And if you want to sell off some of these, pick up a four pack. Sell off some of them. Uh, drink one now. Drink one several years down the road. 10 years, 15, even 20 years down the road. This beer is just going to get better as far as I'm concerned. It's going to be very, very tasty. Very easy drinking. Fresh out of the bottle. 2017 version. Or if you want to sell it, you, you can. Uh, I mean, this is a great beer. Very, very, very tasty. And final check-in, we're going to have to untap. They have the 2017 listed at 4.1, which is in their A category. I think it's a little better than a 4.1. That's why I'm giving it what I am. Because of packaged on dates on there. And the ABV is on there. And it's a very, very well-made beer. So, uh, very, very tasty. Probably one of the least expensive beers to buy in this style in a four pack with this magnitude of uh, ABV and uh, being this easy to drink. Uh, very nice. Super impressive to me. So I guess you can figure that out. Very, very nice. I, I'm more impressed now than I was six years ago. Of course, now they're putting the package on date on it, which they were not doing then. So, very nice. Excellent job. Two thumbs up to those guys out there at, uh, at uh, North Coast Brewing for doing that. Uh, I, I did enjoy this and I continue will I will continue to buy this beer. Very, very nice. So, if you've had this one, the North Coast Old, old Rasputin, Russian Imperial South, let me know what you think, guys. Damn good beer. Damn good beer. Reasonably priced, too. I like it. I like it a lot. If you have it, let me know what you think. Come on back tomorrow. Let's see what we can dig out of the fridge. See you then.